Look, guys, my brother's not a bloodsucker. Look, it says here that if you kill the head vampire, all half vampires will return to normal. Guys, if my brother's a vampire, believe me, he's only half. Does your brother know who the head vampire is? No, I don't think so. Then you'll have to kill him. Corey, Jameson, Jeff in Vegas. Hey, how's it going, how's it going Jeff? <laughs> it's going how's great. Vegas? Are you oh, winning? Oh, yeah. Hey, I'm a native. I've always won ever since yeah, I was there born. There you go. That's <laughs> what I like to hear. Yeah. And Corey, it's great seeing you. We chatted a couple years ago at Sundance. We were hanging out. You were so nice oh, cool. and gracious. So I just want to say thank you. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. And glad to be back. Yeah. And, and just to get a little sentimental with you, Corey, you know, it's like, you know, I'm Generation X and all three of us were within a few years, uh, you know, of our ages or, or close. But I just, you know, like a brother, you know why? Because I just, you've been always there when I'm growing up from the Bad News Bears time after time, you know, the Goonies, what you name it, you know, you've always been there. So Thank it's you. just a thrill to see you, you know, because I feel like I've known you my whole life. You know what I mean? Well, I'm very grateful to still be here, first of all. So thanks for that. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I mean, I, I keep it going. If I'm not working on a movie, I'm working on an album. And if I'm not working on an album, I'm touring. And, if you know, it's just always something. So I feel like it never stops. And I, I think that probably keeps me young, you know, keeps me youthful. Um, and that said, I'm also very humbled and honored that people still remember the old work, too. So, you know, you want to keep reinventing yourself. You want to keep moving forward. But you also have to tip a hat to the nostalgia and that's what this is all about so we're grateful for the the new release we're grateful that you know warner brothers is taking the time to promote it so heavily and uh and hopefully a whole new generation of kids get to experience it well jameson you know the lost boys 4k 35 years oh my god i can't believe it's we're, we're all old men aren't we it's still as popular as ever <laughs> <laughs> right. what, do you, what do you think has contributed to the success and the popularity over the years of the lost boys so i think that it's a a bunch of different things uh, mixed together, but I think they're mixed together by uh, Schumacher, by Joel Schumacher, I mean, you know, the director. Like, you know, the if you look at so many interesting people, interesting actors that were in it, so many really interesting, you know, the sets, the, the costumes and everything, it all comes together, I think, because Joel had that vision from the beginning and he is so visual and so involved in each one of us, each of our journeys and how we got to the, how we get you know, to where he wants us to be, you know, for the movie. I think it's 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 really Joel and and his vision and his ability to get those that kind of art out of us. Well, I think also great writing, great actors, Absolutely. you know, great Absolutely. set design, great sure. costume design, great music score, you yeah. know, so many great yeah. elements, right? But he had a hand in all of it. I mean yeah, he had his hands in everything. <laughs> yes. <laughs> now you've probably been asked this a million times, but could you each give me your favorite memory or favorite story of making The Lost Boys? You know, <laughs> so there's a, a lot of different things that I, I think of when, when, you know, when I get this question and I, I, uh, one thing that I haven't thought about that much recently, but like when we used to sneak into the pool a couple of times, we snuck into the pool at the, at the hotel, just kind of got into a little bit of mischief, you know, us, you know, we were the younger ones. We weren't the ones who were really partying, the Lost Boys, the vampires, they were all really partying and we were just kids like trying to you know, do various things and have fun and stuff. I think that's probably one of my really fondest memories. We right? snuck into the pool? Yeah, you remember this? No. You might not have, maybe it was just me and the hamster. I remember uh, I remember walking around listening to a CD player yeah, for yeah. the first time. You had, like, you had, I had a, CD I had a disc man, I had a disc man, so which was, was like this new invention nobody had ever heard of, right? Like well, it was like this big, it was like that big. Uh, but, but I was playing Whitney Houston uh on it and and uh i remember going like wow listen to the clarity of this thing look how amazing it is so i remember walking around outside the pool but not every actually breaking into the pool but that said uh you know it was it was such a time period of so many amazing moments from you know meeting corey Haim for the first time and the bond and the connection that we immediately had together to meeting this guy you know we've stayed lifelong friends basically brothers um, and, and, you know, getting to work with Donner again, you know, learning about Joel, his highs, his lows, you know, his passion for filmmaking was amazing. Uh, so, and, and working with Harvey Bernhard again, right? And Harvey Bernhard yeah, was yeah. also part of that, yeah, of that film. He was one of the producers yeah. on Goonies as well. So there was a lot of kind of Goonies spill over there, but then there was all this new stuff too. So altogether it was an incredible experience and it doesn't stop by the way. We still get to do these things. We do these conventions 
uh, all over where, uh, you know, like we did one over the summer where Jason Patrick was there, Billy Worth was there. Yeah, like these reunions. And of course, Jameson. Yeah. And and now, you know, I've been touring with my band. We did a, a big tour over the summer for my new album and my new box set. And we're going back out on the road. And when we're doing these shows lately, Jameson has been coming up as a special guest and singing People Are Strange with me. So which we sing is People Are Strange A lot together. of fun. We show yeah. the film clips in the back. I do Cry Little Sister. And every night they tell us that that's their favorite part of the show. So there's always a new approach, whether it's, you know, kids coming up dressed as the Frog Brothers. Right, that's a lot, right? We see a lot of kids all cosplay the time. Frog yeah. Brothers. Even girls, you know, yeah, girls come up and they're dressed as the Frog Brothers, but I guess they're the Frog Sisters, you know? <laughs> uh, but it's always a good time. Well, guys, you know, The Lost Boys now on 4K and uh, it looks spectacular. It's the best version yet. And thank you both for joining me today. And real quick, Jameson, The Blob remake, one of my all time favorite films this morning. Awesome, that. thank you. I, I love yeah, that movie, so glad to hear it. Thanks so much, guys, and uh, come visit us in Las Vegas soon. We'd love to have you. Thank you. Can't wait to come back.